Shalom brothers, uh, this is just a quick lesson um, I noticed, you know, if, I guess a few brothers don't know how to read the uh, Assyrian form of Hebrew or what they call the Aramaic, what you see up top here. So what I want to do real quick is um, just basically go over uh, the both uh, letters in the ancient Hebrew and also in the um, Assyrian script or what they call Aramaic, just so you brothers can know um, how to pronounce these words when you see them okay so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with at the top here this letter here is a ah in the Assyrian script or Aramaic and that's how you pronounce it ah this is the uh, ancient Hebrew Lashawan Kodash ah so whenever you see this letter it's pronounced the same way as this one and they both pronounce ah alright now the Aramaic is pronounced different of course but uh, you know we reading it this is what they have uh, in these uh, Torahs and Tanakhs today so this is how you know this is what we have to read they don't they don't have these uh, ancient uh, Paleo Hebrew scripts out there I mean if they do have them you know they're <clears throat> maybe hard to find or expensive so when you read it you could just read it as you read the ancient Hebrew so this is Ah and Ah that's Ba and that's Ba this looks more like a Ra I mean sometimes the Ba has like a little little um, extension here on the bottom alright then you got Ga in the Assyrian script and then Ga in the Lashawan Kodash Da Da and you can see the pronunciations right here Ha and then the Ha in the ancient Hebrew Wa and the Wa in the ancient the Za in the uh, Assyrian script Za there and this is the Za in the ancient Hebrew Cha Cha Ta Ta. Then you got ya, ya, and then you got the ka, and then right next to the the ka here, this is the final lent ka for the Assyrian script Hebrew. So when you brothers read the Hebrew and the, the Assyrian, and when the word ends in a ka, you use this ka here. So this is just a final lent ka. All right. So this ka is a Assyrian script, and then this ka is the ancient. Okay. Then you got the la, la, ma, ma. And this is the Ma final lent in the Assyrian script. Alright, when the letter ends in the Ma, this is the letter you use. Now you have the Na, and then the Na here, and then you have the final lent Na, and then this is Sa. It looks kind of similar to the final lent Ma, so that's why sometimes you might get, um, might get a little tripped up, but after a while you learn how to discern it too. Alright, so that's the Sa, and this is the Sa in the uh, ancient Hebrew. I... I, pa, pa. Now the pa is also a little bit more square. All right, and this is the final lent pa in the Assyrian script. Then you have the taza, taza, final lent taza. Kwa, kwa, ra, ra, sha, sha, tha, and tha. All right, so this is the, the you know a chart that I made for you brothers, <clears throat> so you can know the, the pronunciation of these words. And uh, Lord's will in future shows will go into it and, you know, show you more on how to read uh, the Hebrew. All right. So with that, I'm going to say shalom and uh, to the next time.